what's good my brothers and sisters so apparently i got up on a bit of a socio-economic uh, mind bug this morning rant if you will this is the second video that is sort of on that topic and this one is near and dear to my heart simply because i am uh, from el caribe which is in a context from the same part of the world or in the same part of the world as um venezuela and so this is um this one's personal for me and it's it's generally personal for me anytime I become aware of poor people around the world just being violated and abused in all kinds of ways, man. Now, I could talk about this one. I could start talking about this one. You know what? Let me first of all say this entire video is in no way intended to diminish the plight of the people of Venezuela right now that are in fact in some very, very, very real ways dealing with um, hunger, etc right like i said just being violated man um don't mean to make light of it in any way shape or form don't need to attempt to diminish in any way shape or form your plight your pain your suffering your struggle it's been a long 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 struggle in that part of the in that part of the world right so we could talk about this thing you know some of you it's a sunday morning some of you have short attention spans what have you so to just keep it short for now um you know we could talk about chavez and uh you know imperialism and uh the people who are in control of this world for the longest time just um getting at that dude and getting at his uh policies and whatnot with respect to that nation all kinds of political economic and social things being hurled at that nation for all kinds of decades really you know to get at i suppose the few remaining countries in that part of the world that won't play ball right with these uh, economic uh, economic um, henchmen what have you um you know with the whole uh, imperialist um thing that has uh you know just attacked the entire world for that matter for god knows how long right Anybody with any sense is pretty clear that uh, when you look around the world and you see poor people and suffering and what have you, you just got to look to one word, right? Imperialism. And I suppose even above that, um, corporations, right? Mega conglomerate corporations, right? The uh, banana, <laughs> um, I suppose desire to eat bananas and whatnot sometimes um, trumps um, the rights of individuals um, around the world and what have you. Right, so those of you with short attention spans at this point, I suppose, could check out, go hang out with your family a Sunday morning or whatnot. If you at all agree that a country as lush in vegetation as the country of Venezuela, an area of the world, as lush i'm gonna assume green on this map is good <laughs> i'm gonna assume the green all over this map means you're in a part of the world where stuff can grow where things that are green you know leaves plants a lot of vegetables fruits and whatnot tend to be that color forests you're generally talking about some pretty lush um, vegetation and what have you when you look on the map and parts of that map is green so again not to diminish the plight of my brothers and sisters and whatnot i'm gonna need somebody to explain to me how on god's green earth right that's a term again those of you with short attention spans that want to check out at this point and go and hang out with your family if you at all agree right that nowhere that is this green in vegetation right nowhere that um, you can simply put a, a seed in the ground and, and apply water to it and, and the sun comes out of the clouds and shines down on it and stuff grows and then eventually fruits and vegetables hang um, from those um, green trees and plants and whatnot should the words uh, hunger or starvation come up so if you agree with that please go ahead before you check out and hang out with your family slam the thumbs up if you know what I mean and uh, you know then go hang out with your family we're gonna from this point attempt to um, approach this discussion from the standpoint like I said socio economically right where we look at again we live in a world where uh, you got some pretty big corporations that control the food industry right and control and food again shouldn't even be in the same sentence 
simply because any human being can go outside and get us get their hands on some seeds or a seed for that matter there are trees that grow taller than your tallest skyscrapers that simply started out from one seed there are trees taller than your tallest skyscraper that started out from a single seed and that one tree can grow and produce so much fruit so much of a specific fruit or a specific vegetable that it would blow the minds of those that have never been to that part of the world or seen those trees with eyes. So how, again, on God's green earth, we live in a world where people are starving in a country, in a region of the world where you look around and the vegetation throughout human history has been so green and lush and full of moisture. Well, we're going to get into it, right? The minute we began wholesaling food distribution, the minute as a people, as an earth, as a <laughs> reality, we began wholesaling the distribution of food, the sustenance that you put in your mouth and give your children to put in their mouth to swallow and nourish their bodies, the minute that became wholesale, is when this boat began to sink. I'm going to repeat that. The minute food distribution became wholesale is when this entire ship began to sink in a deluge of rubbish. Okay? And you will have to go way, 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 way back to even find that point. To say to someone, even your smallest farm, I really don't even want this video to end up being too long because I want people to watch it and I want them to listen to what I'm saying. The minute, right? Let me look at some of these headlines, first of all, right? It says right here, Venezuela's hunger-driven political crisis. Yeah, right on. Political crisis, hunger-driven of course, the fluff media is going to be pointing their fingers at the wrong people as far as who's driving this political, uh, I don't know, vehicle, right? To starve people that simply want to live their lives and raise their children and work and go home and enjoy the lush vegetation and beautiful scenery and beaches and whatnot, right? That are customary to that part of the world. Somebody is driving a political bulldozer over those people. And generally, the fluff Illuminati media is, is going to be pointing their fingers at the wrong people as far as who's driving this political bulldozer. And that's why you got SGF. We, we will at least attempt to point in the right direction when it comes to these issues. Right? Down here again. Humanitarian aid arrives in Venezuela, but Maduro, who I'm going to assume, because again, I kind of stopped following the politics of all of this stuff a long time ago. And really, the reason I stopped following the politics is once you become aware as to what, you know, a sore breaks out on your farm animal, and you're clear as to why the sore broke out on your farm animal, and you don't either just take that animal as inhumane as it might sound and set them right in the middle of a scorching fire and bring an end to the sore and the potential of the sore spreading anywhere else to any of your other animals then you're not doing your job a sore breaks out on your farm animal and you don't go and find the strongest disinfectant you can find which may in fact really be some fire <laughs> okay and apply that strong disinfectant to your farm animal to prevent the sore from spe from spreading throughout your entire farm you're not doing your job so that's why I don't follow politics because everyone is clear as to what the sore is okay but aside from talking nobody's doing anything about it for whatever set of reasons we get into that on this channel sometimes as well I'm digressing so enough of the headlines this is the commentary section all right when we began wholesaling when we began wholesaling uh, food distribution was when <clears throat> it was taken out of the hands of individuals the second anyone other than your father and your mother and your teenage brother and sister went out into the field or in the back of your home 
and put the seeds in the ground and applied the water and tried to find natural ways to fertilize that soil so that the thing would grow healthy, as healthy as possible, and found natural ways to prevent, um, you know, your various pests and so on and little, uh, you know, scurrying animals and whatnot to get at this vegetation, this food that you're trying to grow, right? So you try and find your natural um, pesticides and whatnot. You try and find your natural fertilizers and whatnot. You teach this to your children and whatnot as they come up. The second this was taken out of the hands of individual families in their own yard, putting a seed in the ground and growing their own food and taking care of it and loving that food till the food matures and you can pick them off the tree one by one and slice it up and put on the dinner table in the evening. The second it became... The, 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 the farmer's market in the square in the middle of town, the second it became some guy on the corner with a, with a bushel of and a barrel of, whatever the case may be, is when food became wholesale. Okay? And look at where we are in 2019. In case anyone is having trouble understand what I'm saying, the minute you take the ability to feed your family and hand it to someone else instead of you getting up in the morning and going outside and taking care of the food that you are growing for your own family so that your family has what to eat the second you place that in someone else's hand by the way this was a massive deception the way it went down okay little by little line by line precept by precept <laughs> okay the second food was wholesaled the second you let someone else be responsible for when and how and if your family ate is when the shit began to sink and look at where we are in 2019 you got your suicide seeds so when you buy seeds and put them in the ground if you're still in a position to put them in the ground you get one season out of them you got a massive corporation responsible for the entire wholesale production of, uh, uh, harvesting of, distribution of, sale of, when it boils down. It's really one corporation when it boils down. Broken down in all kinds of little pieces with different fancy names and whatnot. It's really one guy at the helm controlling what all of us eat. That's when all of a sudden your players can come in i'm gonna close this thing out with your politically driven hunger crisis okay listen to those four words politically driven hunger crisis i could give a damn who's doing the driving they need to come off the road here ends this broadcast